friends, Miss Veronica here. I hope you have had a fantastic week. It is time for Sunday school, so go grab your stuff and come on back. All right, you guys, are you ready to start off this week with a trivia question? Here we go. Thinking caps on. Who spoke from the heavens when Jesus was baptized? Hmm, who do you think that was? Many of you, I think, know that answer, but in case you need some help, you can look it up in the book of Matthew, which is in the New Testament, one of the Gospels, chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. All right, and send me in those answers and you will earn some more Bible bucks. All right, are you guys ready for our lesson this week? We are still going through our book, Notes from Jesus. We have this week and next week to go through, and then we will head into our regular Sunday school for the fall, okay? It's hard to believe we're there already. Summer has gone by really quick. All right, it's time for our lesson, so here we go. Are you ready? Not everyone's happy that we're friends. Maybe you've heard of Satan. He isn't happy we're friends because he wants to push us apart. He wants to keep you from loving me and growing in friendship. Let's not let that happen. Here's how to keep Satan from chipping away at our friendship. Tell him to go away and then draw close to me. I have way more power than he does. So when you're with me, you're safe. When you turn to me, you turn away from Satan. And like most liars and bullies do, he leaves you alone. So let's decide right now. We're in this together forever. There's no room for Satan to wiggle in between us. It's you and me and all the rest of my friends from now on. All right, that's pretty a pretty powerful statement there from Jesus, isn't it? But it's pretty cool that all we have to do is be close to him and we are protected from all the bad stuff that can happen. Now, does that mean bad stuff won't happen in your life? Well, unfortunately, bad stuff will still happen in our lives. We, it happens all the time. But if we keep drawing closer to Jesus, things will be a lot better and we can get through it a lot easier. Okay, you guys? So, you know, what are some of the things that, um, that help you? When you do go through bad times, maybe there's someone you turn to. And you know, is Jesus puts those people in our in our lives for those reasons a lot of the time. Okay? So remember those special people that help you get through difficult times because they're there for a reason and they're our friends and they're friends with Jesus too. And it's pretty cool to have those people around. All right, here's how we can even become better friends. Jesus says, sometimes my friends are afraid of Satan. He can be scary. But here's something you'll be glad to know. I've already beaten him. He can't hurt me, and he can't hurt friends who cling to me. You're safe, so as long as you're with me, tell me how that feels. I'd love to hear. Hmm, so, how has Jesus already beaten Satan? Hmm, well, here's a hint. We're going to talk about that next week. But I know a lot of you know how he has already been beaten. All right. So on your papers, you have a memory verse. And that memory verse this week is, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That is from the book of James, which is in the New Testament, chapter 4, verse 7. So memorize that verse, and you guys tell me that verse, and you can even earn some more Bible bucks. I know some of you are racking up those Bible bucks out there, and it's pretty cool. When we finally are able to get back together, we are going to have to have one big Bible buck store, and we will, I promise you. All right, my friends, so grab the rest of your stuff, get your Bible out, and read those verses from James that I have down there, and enjoy your coloring activities. Let's close in prayer, my friends. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for all that you've done for us and all that you've given us. We thank you for being our friend. We ask that you just continue to guide and protect us from the harm that this world can bring. And we trust in you, Jesus, that you are here with us, standing by our side all the time. We just ask that you be with us now as we head into a new week. 
Watch over us and keep us and our family and our friends all safe. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, my friends, have a great week. I'll see you later. Bye.